Hey guys, it's Jan, also known as Zen Bluster, and today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. This is, as you can see, a uh, personal power supply. Um, slowly I've been uh, starting to feel a little bit guilty about whenever I'd go to events, or especially at the dojo, whenever I'd be charging my batteries, I'd be plugging up my uh, charger to the wall, and that's basically me stealing power from Justin and uh, the dojo, basically. So... I've decided to go bring my own power supply now and um, this is probably one of the uh, best ones at least that I know or that I've been told about. This is the uh, Anti-Gravity Batteries Micro Start XP10 and um, not only does this help you charge your basically your double A's for when you're racing you could also <clears throat> since it's a starter a jump starter you could actually start your car. Also, like all of these stuff, basically, you know, truck, ATV, motorcycle, car, you know, your phone, your personal MP3 player, GoPro. Oh, yeah, cool. I could do that too. iPad, whatever. <clears throat> Tablets, I mean. Jump starts, basically all vehicles. Mm, depends on how big the vehicle is. Um, charges your electronics. Uh, it has a flashlight, 18,000 milliamp hour capacity. 600 peak cranking amp so that's basically like the biggest drain it's like um uh the amount of power you need to use to start a car and stuff like that and uh, this part uh, not necessarily true in my opinion depends on how big your pockets are or your pocket is i don't know maybe you have pants that have only one pocket and uh those are mostly all the stuff that you need to know um we're gonna go ahead and find a knife that's already in the shot. We're gonna go use to cut the not word. So this is basically just going to be an unboxing and overview. I've already mentioned all of the specs that are relatively pertinent. And um, this carry carrying one of this around one of these around with you in your car is uh, eventually at some point if you ever run out of power, let's say for or like you had like a really terrible battery drain for your actual personal car you could use this to start it so this is going to be uh i think provided in dixon provisions if you guys haven't already visited that site um it has sells a lot of um tamiya mini four-wheel drive parts a lot of the new ones oh my goodness how does this come out all right let's slide that out so there you go it comes with a a bag basically a case slide that open pop that out so these are the plugs that you could use um, I'm sure some of the laptop stuff if you want to use this to power a laptop too you can do that but uh, I'm mostly gonna worry about using this the uh, 12 volt adapter but um, I ended up getting another accessory, a slightly longer 12 volt, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, adapter for the <coughs> the Hi-Tech X4 Advanced that I have. I'm sure you guys have seen it on my channel before. If you watch a lot of my stuff, I'm sure you've seen it. If not, then you should go check out that video right here on the upper right corner. There will be a card that you can click. <coughs> And these are the uh, the phone adapters, basically um, Thunderbolt, micro USB. Um, what is that? USB C. This is USB Mini, I think. Yeah. And um, all of them can. I don't know if this can power four at the same time, but maybe this is just like an adapter for whatever phone you have, just to be ready. And I think. This is the, the charger for it, right here. And this is the car. This is the car charger. You could charge it in your car. Uh, this is the power brick that you're gonna use to charge the the uh, the battery itself. Let's put that back here. Actually, I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna need that for later when I charge it. What else is here? Oh, and there you go. <clears throat> the clamps for when you actually start a car. 
here you go let's take that out all right there it is there's the battery fairly certain it has a little bit of a charge already there you go the microstart xp10 and uh, in comparison this is the size of um, a normal technical car there you go so it's just slightly it's quite a bit longer maybe like one and a half times in length I haven't really measured it and those are the powers the outputs come on focus 12 volt 10 amp 19 volts for laptops and stuff like that this is where we're going to plug in our or what do you call it um <clears throat> x high tech x4 advanced power let's see oh there's uh still quite a bit of power it's good input 15 volts one amp and that is where the charger is going to connect to when you're charging it all right here <clears throat> and then let's see if i could figure out how to turn on the light how do i turn the light on just press and hold oh there you go like ah, yeah oops strobe light sos and then off there you go jumper cable there isn't that sweet two five volt two amp uh, i mean this one five one one five volt two amp this one is five volt one amp right here and i don't think there's anything else over here so we're gonna go cut and uh, show that this actually works with my x4 advanced okay guys so i brought my high tech x4 advanced over here and um this is the charger that i mostly bring with me on my races and uh, here let's go plug up the 12 volt uh, power onto this thing there you go so you can see it's uh powering just fine and um, as a preview i'm going to be testing or just showing it that it'll charge my um, toshiba impulse batteries it's probably going to be another video soon you'll see it at some point actually probably the next video is going to be about this so we're going to go ahead and uh, refresh refresh 600 800 refresh 600 and then 800 there you go as you can see it's uh working just fine there you go if you'd like to see more videos like this guys please uh like subscribe and share and thanks for watching go race